Today we're in the book of Numbers, chapter 18. And this is God. Listen to what it says, verse 1. Then the Lord said to Aaron. God now speaks to Aaron. Normally he spoke to Moses. And so I'm sure Aaron was a little taken back. He was a little, well, probably blown away at God speaking to him, not just Moses. And he gives him, well, kind of a correction, sort of a time when he's calling him to step up to the plate, to be responsible. He's saying, now you and your sons, Aaron, are responsible for everything that goes down in the tabernacle, good or bad. You're accountable for it. You are the ones that are going to take charge. But I'm going to give you the tribe of the Levites to serve alongside you with the practical details. But the buck, Aaron, stops with you. That which happens in the tabernacle, be it good or bad, is now on you. So in verse 1, he gives him kind of a warning. But in verse 2, well, listen to what he says here in chapter 18. Also bring with you your brethren, the tribe of Levi, the tribe of your father, that they may be joined with you and serve with you while you and your sons are with you before the tabernacle of witness. There's a warning, and then there's kind of an encouragement, but I'm going to help you out. But the bottom line is he's still responsible and accountable. So verse 1, a warning. Verse 2, an encouragement. There'll be help. But it's kind of like you and I, we, we step into this walk with the Lord. He, he speaks to us through his word. And it's pretty awesome when he does. And he always wants to. But he calls us to be responsible and accountable and then places us in the body of Christ to have help and assistance of those who come alongside of us. Not everyone's called to be a pastor. Not everyone's called to be a teacher. Not everyone's even called to be a Sunday school teacher. But we're all called into the ministry, whether you're a clergy or not. And you and I have areas of influence and responsibility and accountability, but also the encouragement of the body of Christ that comes alongside of us. See, it doesn't matter if you're a butcher, baker, candlestick maker, whatever you are, God gives you an area of influence, an area of an ability to, to touch people's lives that, well, as a pastor, I could never touch, or I can't step into areas that you step into, but God gives you this realm of ministry to encourage, to pray, to share, to, to be a light, to be salt. And he holds us, believe it or not, accountable. There's the call, there's the accountability, and there's also the assistance and help of others to pray for them, to, to uphold one another's arms. This is the beginning of Numbers chapter 18, a warning of accountability, and then the reminder that I'll also be there with you and give you those who will assist you. So all of us, well, we're held accountable, but we're also called to assist one another in this amazing thing of serving the Lord in the church, outside of the church, to be light, to be salt, wherever we go, that's the call. That's you and I. That's the beginning of Numbers chapter 18.